Hello everyone, my name is Bexel Taloyev and I'm the developer and creator behind a unique AR headset project powered by the Raspberry Pi 5. The goal of this project is to make augmented reality more affordable, accessible and educational, especially for students and developers who don't have access to expensive hardware. The core of my project is the Raspberry Pi 5 because it is powerful enough to handle real-time image processing and rendering for AR, but also cheap and compact, which makes it perfect for DIY hardware. I connected a full HD webcam to capture real-world input and a 144Hz monitor as the display for testing the AR overlays. My goal is to eventually integrate a small display into wearable glasses. I chose to run Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit because it's more stable and gives me full control of the software. I use Python with OpenCV and OpenGL for computer vision and AR rendering. The webcam captures the environment and the code tracks surfaces or markers to place virtual objects into the real world. I've already managed to run simple AR demos like floating 3D objects and interactive buttons using real-time video feed. I also added support for keyboard and gesture input, and now I'm researching voice control integration. One of the biggest challenges has been hardware limitations, especially RAM and GPU power. But I'm optimizing the software and limiting the rendering resolution to make it smoother. I also had to carefully manage the power supply and temperature of the Pi 5 since it can get hot during intensive tasks. Despite these issues, the project is going really well. I've already demoed it to friends and people are excited to see a low-cost AR headset in development. My next goal is to make the device wearable by building a 3D printed frame and integrating a smaller display. I'm also planning to launch this project on Kickstarter to gather support and possibly scale up the design with better cameras and components. This is just the beginning. I believe Raspberry Pi powered AR can be used in education, museum experiences and even DIY smart glasses. Thank you for following my journey. If you're interested in affordable AR technology or want to collaborate, feel free to connect. The future of AR is not just for big tech, it's for everyone.